What do electric cars, solar panels, and power grids all have in common? They depend on rare and strategic raw materials, and we're running out. The global demand for raw materials is skyrocketing. As we push for cleaner energy, digitalization, and new technologies, we need more metals and minerals than ever before. But here's the problem, some of these materials are already running low. And our current extraction rates can't keep up. This is especially true for what we call critical raw materials, resources that are essential for industries like energy, automotive, and electronics, but come with major supply risks. Many of these are concentrated in just a few countries, making supply chains fragile and unpredictable. So what exactly makes a raw material critical? It's not just about how rare it is. It's about how essential it is to modern industries and how risky its supply is. Some materials, like sand or iron, are abundant and widely available. Others, like lithium, cobalt, and rare earth elements, are not only harder to extract but are also heavily concentrated in just a few regions. Let's break it down. Nickel. Used in stainless steel, electric vehicle batteries, and medical equipment. A shortage could drive up prices and slow down EV production. Copper. The best metal for electricity transmission. Used in power grids, generators, renewable energy, and wiring. Rare earth elements. Crucial for electronics, wind turbines, and military tech. Over 60% of global production happens in China. Lithium and cobalt. Essential for batteries, especially for EVs and renewable energy storage. Most lithium comes from Australia, Chile, and China, while cobalt is mainly mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Because of these risks, many governments track and classify critical raw materials. The European Union, for example, maintains a list of materials that are vital for its economy and industries but face significant supply risks. Currently, the EU lists 34 materials as critical, meaning they are essential yet difficult to source. 17 of these are classified as strategic, meaning their supply is crucial for key industries like renewable energy, digitalization, and defense. The problem? Many of these materials are imported, and their supply is concentrated in just a few countries. This makes the EU heavily dependent on external sources, increasing the risk of supply chain disruptions. But here's the problem, most of these materials are not evenly distributed across the world. In fact, a few countries control most of the global supply. That makes supply chains incredibly fragile. If anything disrupts production, the entire global economy feels the impact. The biggest risks include Geopolitical tensions Many critical raw materials are produced in politically unstable regions. Trade restrictions, sanctions, or conflicts can easily disrupt supply. Production concentration over 80% of the world's rare earth elements come from just one country, China. If China restricts exports, the rest of the world faces immediate shortages. Environmental and social issues. Mining is destructive. Some materials, like cobalt, are mined under dangerous and unethical conditions, leading to growing pressure to find alternatives. Increasing demand. The global push for net zero emissions means more batteries, more electric vehicles, and more renewable energy, pushing demand beyond current production capacity. We're already seeing the effects of raw material shortages, and they could get worse. Let's take a look at a few examples. Nickel crisis. Russia is one of the largest nickel producers. After geopolitical tensions, nickel prices spiked by 250% in 2022, forcing companies to scramble for alternative suppliers. Copper shortages. The price of copper has been rising due to increased demand from renewable energy projects and electric vehicles. If supply can't keep up, it could slow down the green energy transition. Lithium supply issues. As more countries push for electric vehicles, lithium demand is expected to increase 40 times by 2040. But mining expansion is slow, leading to fears of a supply bottleneck. The bottom line? If we don't find solutions, we could see rising costs, delayed innovation, and even economic slowdowns in key industries. So, what can be done to avoid a raw material crisis? 
one of the biggest solutions is finding alternative materials. Scientists and engineers are working on substitutes for critical raw materials. For example, research is underway to replace cobalt in EV batteries with materials that are more abundant and easier to source. Another key approach is recycling and circular economy practices. Right now, many critical materials end up as waste. But if we improve recycling methods, we can recover metals like lithium, copper, and nickel from old electronics, batteries, and industrial scrap. Reducing the need for new mining. Governments are also stepping in. The EU, for example, is working to reduce reliance on imported materials by investing in domestic mining, strengthening trade partnerships, and promoting research into alternative materials. The goal is to create more resilient supply chains and reduce vulnerability to disruptions. But ultimately, industries and consumers will need to adapt. As demand for raw materials keeps rising, companies will have to rethink production strategies and we may see shifts in technology to make better use of available resources. One thing is clear, without critical raw materials, modern life as we know it would slow down. The choices we make today, investing in new technologies, improving recycling, and securing supply chains, will determine how we navigate this challenge in the future.